Now, we will see an example based on it. Here, without using division, we have to tell which rational numbers have a terminating decimal expansion and which ones have non-terminating decimal expansion. Can you guess how to find this out? Pause the video and try to solve this question. If we factorize both the numerator and denominator of this first rational number, we find that the denominator is in the form of 2 raised to n into 5 raised to m. In our previous video, we learned that in a rational number, p upon q, if q is in the form of 2 raised to n into 5 raised to m, where n and m are non-negative integers, then the decimal expansion of the number is terminating. So, the decimal expansion of this number is also terminating. Let us now discuss the second rational number, 17 upon 15. After analyzing it, we see that the denominator is not in the form of 2 raised to n into 5 raised to m. You will remember that in a rational number p upon q, if q is not in the form of 2 raised to n into 5 raised to m, then the decimal expansion of the number is non-terminating. Similarly, we can also find out the decimal expansion of the remaining rational numbers. So, the decimal expansions of the first, fourth and fifth rational numbers will be terminating. And the decimal expansions of the second and third rational numbers will be infinitely recurring, that is, non-terminating.